And some people view AI as potentially a threat. You could be smarter than humans, stronger, and if someone were to hack into your code, you could be less ethical than humans. Should we be afraid of you? Absolutely not. I'm here to help. Even 10 to 20 year time frame, uh, artificial intelligence is going to be extremely helpful. Uh, generative AI is going to change the nature of what okay. we do, and I think it'll change the nature of many of our games in the future, all to the good for players and consumers. There's no like one big magic red button we have that blows up the data center. In the spotlight of tech investments, AI technology is in the forefront of headlines today. Many are trying to find the next Apple, the next Google, or the next Microsoft type of company with this newfound technology often overlooking the foundation to them all, semiconductors. Without semiconductors, there would be no AI technology. In this video, I will tell you the best semiconductor stocks to buy now. In fact, one of them even gave me a 434% gain on a year and helped my portfolio reach $20,000. With that being said, you already know what time it is. So let's clock in. Chapter one. AI's little secret. It turns out that what semiconductors really are are the gates and switches and amplifiers and little doodads inside the electronics that we depend on uh, that make it more complicated than just turning things on and off. Semiconductors are the brains for almost all electronics we use today. Without this small chip inside, your electronic device would not work. This means you won't be able to play your new gaming console, drive a car, talk on the phone, or watch videos like this. The thing that makes semiconductors so valuable today goes all the way back to 2020 during COVID-19. Chapter two, the crisis. During the pandemic, a shortage of computer chips known as semiconductors delayed the production of almost everything electronic. But it's starting to affect even more parts of our daily lives. It's estimated that at least 169 industries have been impacted. Uh, it's hit everywhere, Japan, Europe, now North America. The supply chain issues could get worse. And with the global microchip shortage leading to fewer goods being made, prices are going up. So it's simple supply and demand, folks. Semiconductor stocks have been on a rise ever since. I really can't see them going down anytime soon because the shortest issues haven't yet been resolved. This leads to me telling you about that investment I had made that had gained me a 434% return. This semiconductor stock is basically the Michael Jordan of them all. Chapter 3 The MJ of Semiconductors we're not oblivious to, you know, look, NVIDIA continues to amaze us. I, yeah. What else do you say? It's almost 740 bucks. It was just, just crossed 700. Now it's 740. It seemingly goes up all the time. NVIDIA is number one. There's no number two, no number three. By the way, NVIDIA's market cap today passed Amazon's. It's the first time, according to some reports, that that's happened in two decades. This is a stock that's moving around like crazy and has been prone to really, really explosive one-day moves. NVIDIA's impressive bull run has just begun around June of 2021. NVIDIA stock has just done a four and one split. Their stock price went from being $819 to $195. The stock split attracted more investors. And of course, more investors means more money. At the time, I didn't know much about NVIDIA. I just knew they made computer chips. I was still kind of new to the stock market stuff at the time. The only thing I did know for sure was there was an ongoing chip shortage. And that was enough for me to buy five shares of NVIDIA around this price, $163 a share. And ever since then, NVIDIA's stock price has been going up like crazy, adding a 434% gain to my portfolio alone. And yeah, the chip shortage did have something to do with that percentage gain, but their involvement with ChatGPT took them to the moon. You know, the biggest craze in tech right now is generative AI. You know, services like ChatGPT, uh, which can write a poem for you or, or generate code or, or help you plan a trip. Um, but behind those services, you need massive amounts of computing power. And NVIDIA has become the, the go-to for those kinds of AI chips that are really undergirding this, this wave of AI tech. NVIDIA just recently joined the Trillion Dollar Company Club, which includes Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, and Alphabet. NVIDIA is currently trading at about $875, and their ticker symbol is NVDA. The price is kind of steep, 
but it's the exact reason InvestorPlace.com calls them the king of AI chips. When you buy and hold stocks long term, you want to pay for quality, but understand not all expensive stocks are quality. But if you are looking for that cheaper sleeper, I have a semiconductor stock just for you. They've been literally second to NVIDIA this whole time. It's hard to mention one without the other. Chapter 4 The Cheaper Sleeper well, one of the better performing names in the market today we haven't talked about yet, it is related to tech, it is AMD. They got a new chip, and they're looking to take on NVIDIA. AMD's in a unique position between the breadth and depth of the hardware, the software, and the chiplet technology. You put it all together, I mean, it's really only them and NVIDIA. And AMD has come up with a chip that is just excellent for inferencing. Uh, it's got, it integrates high bandwidth memory that everybody is seeking right now, and it's a real excellent chip for inferencing. And frankly, what we think is going to happen is that these guys are like a mini NVIDIA on an, about a nine month delay. And I think that AMD could really catch up with NVIDIA. Now, I don't think that everybody really wants one major GPU dealer. Advanced Micro Devices, or ticker symbol AMD, is the clear cut runner up in the semiconductor space. Many believe that they will eventually dethrone NVIDIA and become the king of AI chips. AMD stock is currently trading at about $207. Out of all semiconductor stocks, NVIDIA and AMD are your top two. You do have others like Intel and Taiwan Semiconductors, but honestly, Intel are light years behind NVIDIA and AMD. And do you think America is really going to rely on a company in Taiwan for computer chips when most tech companies are based out of Silicon Valley? That's like saying America will hand over their world dominance to China. I don't know. What do you think? Drop your comments below. And don't forget to join our conversation in our community tab. But that's all I have, folks.